Nancy. I'm a biologist here at the aquarium, and today I'll be feeding Art, our Podocnemus expansus, our Aru river turtle. Um, it's one of the largest Amazonian river turtles, and this is her feeding target. Um, so I put it in the water and put her treats in, and she eats out a bit like a trough. Here right now are chow balls. Um, they're made of a processed vegetable based reptile food and we kind of it comes in little pellets but she's obviously a bigger reptile so we kind of mash it up into falafel balls and then we can pre-freeze them and we know she gets complete nutritionally balanced meals and she likes them which is good we'll eat insects uh, fruit seeds anything that falls into the water so we try and keep it that way they're a very highly aquatic turtle. Uh, mostly just females leave the water to bask and to lay eggs. They can lay a clutch of 50 to 150 eggs. And the babies come out um, about two inch shells. They are considered endangered by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Uh, so it's pretty special that we have one. And we love to show people that not just fish live underwater. Um, she ranges, the Podoc Nemus expansa ranges for the, from the Orinco to the Amazonian River bases. And like a lot of other Amazonian animals, they are threatened by habitat loss and egg poaching is a big threat to their population. Having our target trained like this is really helpful for a number of reasons. I can monitor how much she's eating. Um, I can keep her away from big fish feeds so that she doesn't develop a taste for fish, which would not be representative of her natural diet. And I can get her where I want her to go. So if I need to catch her or look at her closely, I know that I have ample opportunity to do it or maybe touch her shell while she's eating. <laughs>